my name's Tommy and today I'm going to perform my air brakes test. I want you to know that I have a primary gauge and I have a secondary gauge. For today's test, all readings are going to be coming from my primary gauge, okay? And before we begin any test today, we must be below 90 PSI, and we are. So now I'm going to go ahead and put on my seatbelt. I'm going to make sure that it's properly mounted and secured to the cab. It's not ripped, torn, or frayed, and that it latches and releases properly, okay? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and perform my safe start by making sure both, both my brakes are applied. Then I'm gonna go clutch, then I'm gonna go neutral, then I'm gonna start my truck. Okay, once my truck is started, I'm gonna slowly release the clutch. Now, the first test I'm gonna perform is my governor cutout test. Raise my, I'm going to raise my RPMs in between 1,000 and 1,500 to help speed the process along. I'm now approaching 100 PSI, so I'm gonna go ahead and push in my trailer brake. And I'm just gonna continue accelerating until we hit governor cutout. Governor cut out at 124 PSI, so this is a good test because it cut out before 140 PSI. Now the next test I'm going to perform is my governor cut-in test. So I'm just going to pump the brake one time and wait for my needle to rise. If it doesn't rise within 8 to 15 seconds, I'm going to repeat, repeat that process. So my needle started to rise at 105 PSI, so this is a good test because we did not go below 100 PSI. Now the next test I'm going to perform is my applied pressure test. For this test we need to be at maximum air pressure. So now I'm just going to accelerate again and bring us back up to max maximum air pressure. We're at maximum. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna push in my clutch. I'm gonna go first gear. I'm gonna shut the truck off. I'm now gonna release the clutch and release my parking brake. Now I'm gonna wait for my gauge to stabilize. As soon as my gauge stabilizes, I'm gonna hit my service brake and give you my reading. Okay, my primary gauge reads 99 PSI. I'm now gonna clock one minute.
Okay, to keep this short, I'm gonna say my one minute is now up. My primary gauge still reads 99 PSI. So this is a good test because I did not lose more than four PSI in one minute. <laughs> now, the next test I'm gonna perform is my low air warning test. For this test, I'm gonna turn the ignition on without starting the truck. I'm gonna let all my gauges cycle. Now I'm just gonna start pumping the brake until my low air warning comes back on. <laughs> Okay, so my no air warning, light and buzzer activated at 70 PSI. So this is a good test because it activated between 55 and 75 PSI. Now, the last test I'm gonna perform is my spring brake test. Now I'm just gonna pump the brakes until both of my, both of my brakes pop up. Okay, so both my brakes popped out at 45 PSI. So this is a good test because they both popped out between 20 and 45 PSI. This concludes my air brakes test. Okay.